Hey everybody, um, I wanted to take just a quick second and hop on here to talk about the remaining two um, math activities for this week. Um, so we have Tic Tac Fractions and Be the Teacher. Um, you guys, those of you that joined the quizzes today did an awesome job on the fractions. So um, with this Tic Tac Fractions, what you're going to do is take turns writing the numerator or denominator that matches the fraction. So here, for example, I can see that the denominator, that down number, which remember means the total number of pieces is missing. So it's indicating that one is shaded out of how many pieces. There are three pieces total, so I would need to write the three there. On this one, I can see that it has the denominator, but it's missing the numerator. So here it's telling me again, there are three total pieces, how many are shaded in? So I would need to write a number two on here. Um, and then you'd go through the rest of those, and then you can take turns putting an X and an O and play tic-tac-toe with that. Um, what the the rules, if we were doing this in class, is that you would have to, um, if I'm putting an X on this square, I would need to fill out this problem. If I put an O on this square, I would need to fill out this problem. Since um, you as the student don't have a classmate with you, um, I would suggest you filling out all of them first just for good practice and then um, playing tic-tac-toe with somebody there. I saw Chloe actually had um, some X's and O magnets that she used. You could use just game pieces or um, make a little piece to put on the board so that way you guys could keep replaying if you want to do it that way. Um, and then for uh, be the teacher, create a worksheet for a classmate with at least eight circles and or rectangles partitioned into fractions. So remember partitioning is dividing it into those equal parts. Ask them to solve whether they agree that your partitions are truly fractions or not. Are they partitioned equally? So if they're not partitioned equally, there was a seesaw activity I posted yesterday um, where there were parts that were not equal and you needed to make sure that those don't count as fractions. Um, create at least four that are and four that are not partitioned equally. And I went ahead and made a page. Um, so if you went to our website, this will be linked on there. If you went through the teleschools from um, Mr. Vance, then that, this page would not be linked on there because I added it after the fact that they added it to the website. So I basically made this template for you so that you have um, my one, two, three, four, five. So there's gonna be 10 problems on this one. Um, but what you as the student would do is you could print this out twice and you could have an answer key. So you could go through and, and partition and you could make, um, I don't think I have on this program. Let me now it's not going to work on this program. I, I was going to try to upload it and then show you what I meant here. Um, let me try that real quick. Okay, so I went ahead and uploaded it to Seesaw so that I could show you what I mean. Um, if you're doing it, I will have it on Seesaw as well. So you could do it that way and we could um, you could tag a student friend in it and they could um, put the answers. Um, what I will do is I'm going to duplicate the page so that as you make it, um, what my suggestion is that you also make an answer key. But I'll show you how. Um, let's say, for example, I am partitioning. So I need to use my drawing tool and I want to partition this one equally. It's a lot harder. I know Olivia and I were talking about that. It's really difficult to do it on a computer if you are using a mouse. Um, so if you're actually trying to make them as accurate as possible, it is very difficult. Um, and then you want to make some that are not equal. So things like that. You, could, you might want to try to challenge them. For example, this is going to seem like it could be thirds ignore that squiggle, <laughs> but this piece is going to be more of a rectangle shape and this piece is a semicircle, so that one's not going to be it. So once you go through the whole sheet, then what you can do is if you're doing this on Seesaw, again, I understand if you're not on a device like an iPad or a tablet where you can use your finger a little bit easier, the mouse is going to be difficult to make those true fractions. You can also use shapes and you can create this line here, which would be a great tool to um, used to partition your shapes without having to worry about that that squiggle like I just did there as as evidence. So then if you're doing it on Seesaw, either I will leave the um, duplicate page on there or you can duplicate this page yourself. And what that means is now when I go to page one and page two, they're exactly the same. So I don't have to redo it again. But then on page two, what I can do is I can have my um, answer key. So yes, and yes, 
and no, and yes, and no. So I could have that answer key, but then page one, they can, they can see um, the actual page. So it gives you um, an idea for how to do this. I'll link this page, like I said, the blank one on Seesaw so you have it. And then um, if you want to make your own and you want to do a different format, that's fine too. But I did want to go ahead and share those last two activities from the choice board so that way you were prepared for that. Um, on the checklist, I think that would be um, everything here. If you notice that on Friday, there is going to be a Flipgrid tomorrow posted that I will share um, through Seesaw in the morning. And then you really want to make sure that you're checking in on the iReady reading lesson and the iReady math lesson. So that's why I don't have any activities assigned on this day. Um, but I would love if you would keep sending me your Friday letters. Um, I love seeing what you guys are up to and what you're what you're doing. Don't forget that you can send anything too. It doesn't have to be just on um, the, the math and the reading. I do want to see those because it gives me the chance to see how you're doing, but I do want to make sure that we're highlighting um, all of the amazing things that you're doing. So for example, Divya posted a, a poster that her family made thanking the nurses and Sean made a crystal ball um, and Chloe did the dough video and she wanted to share that. So make sure you're sharing your math work and your reading work definitely, but also share those other things as well. Um, I hope you guys are having a great, great time. Um, I think the quizzes went really well this morning. Um, especially for the first time, I think it'll get even better and we can fit more quizzes in. And then um, don't forget tomorrow's just that Microsoft Teams class check-in. So it'll just be where we can have a chat and celebrate how everything you guys are doing and just catch up. So I will see you guys on here tomorrow at 12. If there's anything else you need, please let me know. I'm a bit behind on some emails, um, trying to wait to get some feedback on some things. So message me on uh, Seesaw, message me on Teams, wherever it might be, um, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So I hope you guys are doing well, and I'll talk to you soon.